Hardware Introduction of Jaka Robot. This course will be divided in four parts. 1. Introduction to installation. 2. Introduction of the robot. 3. Cabinet introduction. And 4. Introduction to the control stick handle. The time of the course will be around 20 minutes and the main objectives are 1. Robot installation wiring. 2. Preliminary understanding of robot body and controller. 3. Cabinet switch on and off, power on and off, enable and disable with a control stick. Let's start. Part 1. Introduction of installation. Let's take a look at the robot unpacking and installation video. First, take out the robot from the packing box and install it on a fixed base. Fix the control cabinet and connect the AV cable of the robot with the hexagon screw in advance. Connect the robot control stick stick wire. Then connect the external rotor. Take down and route the network cable through the cable hole and connect the network cable to the bottom network port. Then you can connect the power supply, release the emergency button stop and connect the pad to the wireless network. Then open the software, click the connect button, select the robot, input the administrator password, check at zoo admin, then you can turn on the power and start the robot. The installation is complete. Two three robot is fixed with a 4M625 inner hexagon screw. The 7, the 12, the 18 are fixed with 4 MA25 inner hexagon screws. The Mini Kobo is secure with 4 M6 16 hexagon screws. On the right, we can see the bottom of our control cabinet. It is successively Ethernet cable interface, body heavy duty interface, handle line interface, and power switch to 120 volt power interface. Part 2 Introduction of Robot The robot body is a moving component to achieve the desired action of the user. At the same time, the end of the body does not really indicate the state of the robot. The button for dragging and programming the IO interface and the TIO interface connecting the end tools. The cabinet contains core computing components and a variety of electrical interfaces. At the same time, the cabinet is equipped with a handle to facilitate user operation. The wireless network port of the cabinet should be connected to the router and the operating terminal should also be connected to the wireless network of the router. It is recommended to configure a separate router for the Jaka Zoo series robot to prevent conflicts with other devices. In the operation, the single graphics card provides Chaka Zoo series robot operating software based on Android system. The recommended operating hardware configuration of the software is shown in the table. When users purchase Chaka Zoo robot, they can also demand to purchase an operating terminal or use their own tablet computer. In the schematic diagram of Zoo robot arm, it includes six joints and two connecting rods of the big arm and the forearm. 
The joints 1 to 6 are respectively from the base to the head of the robot. The head of the robot is equipped with one button and a breathing light. The Jaka Zoo has end indicator and a pause button. Breathing light with the position of the button is shown in the figure. Its color's meaning is as shown in the table. Blue is a powered on state. Green represents enabled, so the robot is ready. Red represents fault. Yellow is a free drive mode. Flashing yellow is a pause mode. Machine and button press the end button when the robot is running. It can suspend the robot movement and press it again to resume the motion. The use of the end pause button requires the user to fully access the possible risks. Sudden start and stop of the robot may cause personal injury or equipment damage. Mechanical end flange button is equipped with the tool IO interface and two buttons on the outside of the flange. The buttons are free drive button and position recording button as shown in the figure. When the free drive button is pressed, the drag instruction mode is entered. Point button. After the user directly drags the robot to set the desired position, press the button to record the point position. The operating software records the corresponding position and creates a teach point directly into programming page. The end of the robot has a TIO interface, which can interact with external devices for signal connection. The TIO external interface of the tool side is defined as shown in the right table. Pin 1 is 24 volt plus, and pin 2 and 3 are digital input NPN. Pin 4 and 5 are digital output NPN type. Pin 6 and pin 7 are the positive and negative terminals of the analog quantity. And finally, pin 8 is a 24 volt power supply negative. Part 3 Cabinet Introduction Cabinet 2.1 Internal Ports Cabinet has 8 types of external ports. P1 and P3 are digital ports. P and P I electronic frequency effective, P2 and P4 are digital quantity output ports. P5 has two configurable analog ports and P6 is a high speed input. P7 remote switch and R S485 communication interface. P8 is a safety function, namely internal 24 volt power interface. P9 USB interface and P10 Ethernet interface. P1, P3 are digital input interfaces used to connect various sensors, switch buttons, etc. P2, P4 digital output interface used for digital signal output or control solenoid valve indicator light for example. P5 Two configurable analog interfaces are used to collect analog signal or control devices. P6 high speed input interface for collecting high speed encoder signals. P7 terminal remote switching on off machine and RS485 for Modbus RTU communication. P8 safety function and internal 24 volt power interface for front safety signal configuration. P9 3.0 USB port for UV connection, USB flash drive and other storage devices. P10 Ethernet interface used to connect router or open network communication. Minicab monitoring introduction. Minicab typically used a minicab controller, external DC power controller, Handle and operation terminal. Note that the minicab needs to be installed in a well ventilated 
dry place and cooled by natural convection. When the heat generated in the use scenario is high, if the cobot body runs at fast speed at a large load of frequency break, external fans are required to cool the minicab. The definition of user interface pin is shown in a figure. Include power pin, remote power on off pin, digital IO pin, detection pin, 485 master station pin and RS485 slave station pin. DC power input terminal. Pin 1 is the input of logic electric power supply. Pin 2 is the input of robot power supply. And pin 3 is ground. Do not connect the negative terminal. The user power supply can be generally divided into three categories. The first, 48 volt switching power supply. The second, lithium battery. The third, 24 volt power module is used with the minicab. The following figures show the power supply specification of Jaka Zoo robot. The rated voltage of a 48 volt and the voltage range is between 30 and 60 volts. ZU3 has a peak power of 900 watt and a 1000 watt switching power supply is recommended. The peak power of the initial robot is 1800 watt. And it is recommended to use two 1000 watt switching power supplies. ZU12 ZU18 peak power at 3 kW. 1 kW switching power supplies are recommended. Or 48 volt lithium battery can be used. Mini Kobo is 24 volt power module provided by Jaka. Be careful not to connect the negative terminal. Figure on the right shows the controller handle of Mini Kobo. If you do not need an external handle, you need to add the Mini Cab collective adapter. The Mini Cab is delivered with a handle by default. If an adapter plug is required before delivery, a note must be made before delivery. Emergency stop. You can use the set stop button on the controller handle. It can be connected to the external stop panel. Support a separate emergency stop connector which is a short circuited to the internal 24 volt. On the first panel, press the power button for one second and then release the electric control cabinet to start up. The display will be red, blue and green alternatively. After the start, the cabinet will bring blue and shut down. Second way, to the handle to start and shut down, short press the start button for once again and then release. The buzzer rings, the electric control cabinet starts to shut down. Long press the start button for more than 3 seconds, the handle buzzes 6 to 7 times. The electric control is not shut down. The third way, through IO remote switch machine. Remote boot requires the user to provide external 24 volt DC power supply separately. Connect the positive pole to the power supply to the remote boot interface of pin 8 and the negative pole to the pin 6 grounding interface. Press the switch for about 1 second and release the electric control to start and shut down. Remote shutdown needs to connect the positive pole of power supply to pin 5. Remote shutdown interface. The negative pole is connected to the P6 grounding interface. Can use external power supply and also use internal 24 volt power supply. Long press the button for more than 3 seconds to loosen the electric control with shutdown. The wiring diagram of remote switching machine is shown on the right. The braking voltage must be at least 3 volt higher than the input voltage. If the module supply voltage is 48 volt, set the brake voltage to 51 volt. 
if the 48 volt lithium battery is used for power supply, the voltage is 54.6 volts and the resistance is set. The starting voltage is 58 volts. If the power supply is from a 24 volt module, the input voltage is 24 volt and the automatic resistance starting voltage is 27 volts. Check the automatic resistor starting voltage immediately after online. The mini cab supports two network ports, namely LAN 1 and LAN 2. LAN 1 supports 10 GB and LAN 2 supports 10 GB auto adaptation. Minicab's built-in Wi-Fi hotspot is password-free by default. Users can connect to the Minicab through a wireless terminal. After Minicab is started, the Wi-Fi indicator on the right side of the panel lights up. When a Wi-Fi is connected, the Wi-Fi indicator turns to blink. The Minicab and the robot body can be controlled through the app. The Wi-Fi hotspot name must be the same as the Minicab ID. If you need to change the Wi-Fi name or add the login password, please contact Jaka Technical Support Personnel. The satisfaction network can be 1000 MB, 100 MB, adaptive network port. And the factory default configuration is 10.5.5 network segment. When connecting to network port LAN 1, set the device IP address to a range from 10.5.5.1 to 205.55 or configure the device to dynamically obtain an IP address. If the device does not support IP address change, you are advised to connect the device to network port LAN 1 and set the IP address of network port LAN 2 to the same network segment as the device. If the network can be occupied and you have to use the network port LAN 1, please contact Jaka Technical Support Personnel to modify network port 1. Network can dynamically obtain IP addresses for 10 GB adaptive network port by default. User can log in in the app and configure static IP paths to set network setting for the system. Do not set the IP address disconnection of network port LAN 2 to the same as that of network port LAN 1, otherwise login may fail. If the LAN port must be set to network segment 10.5.5, contact Jaka Technical Support Personnel to modify the LAN port. Part 4 – Introduction to Control Stick The figure on the right is a schematic diagram of the controller buttons. Simple functions of the electrical control cabinet and robot can be realized with a handle, such as the start and stop of the electric control cabinet. We can review buttons on the handle, switch on off button, start stop button, Pause, Resume button, Enable button, Repeat button, and Lock button. For handle operation, press the power button for one second after startup, start up. and then release after the sound monitoring. If the monitor does not turn on and off, the user will press the button for more than three seconds and the handle buzzer for six or seven times to shut down the cabinet. When the power supply is not turned on, press the button to power on the cabinet. When the power is turned on, press the button to power on the robot. To enable the robot then, press the lock button and enable button simultaneously. When the robot is enabled, press the lock button and enable button to start the program. Short press the start stop button to start the default program. Press continuously to control the robot movement to set the initial position in the non-running state of the program. When the robot is in the initial position, keep pressing the lock button and wait for the breezing blue light. Pause restore button during the automatic operation of the robot. 
press the pause procedure to restore the robot to the suspended state. You can press the recovery program execution. Lock the handle by long press the lock button for 3 seconds and the indicator will have orange breathing light. Then the buttons are invalid except lock and switch buttons. The app can control the robot and the light will be off when the robot is in an unlocked state. Gray app interface can be used to control the robot. Note that the emergency stop button can be only used in emergency situations, not as a general critical equipment. That is all for the hardware introduction of Jaka robots. Thank you for watching.